We needed a bit of coolness this week. There's been tough news yeah. stories out there. Yeah. Delighted to say the writing seems to have calmed down. But still, we're going to start with a kind of a shocking story you may have heard yesterday about the Taylor Swift mm. concerts in Vienna, Tim. They've been cancelled due to a terrorist threat. Tell us more on what's the latest. Well, the Australian um, authorities have said that they've foiled, thankfully, a proposed terrorist attack on a Taylor Swift concert. And these were quite shocking in terms of what they revealed. It was potentially a suicide attack. Just be cautious, people listening who may be triggered, just to be aware, <clears throat> uh, driving a car into crowds and using knives to attack people. And it brings you back, I'm sure you'll remember, Giles, the terrible news back in 2017 when the Manchester attacks mm -hmm. took place, right? And when you're thinking about going to have an enjoyable event, lots of the, the Taylor Swift fans dressing up in all their things with their lovely bands around and potentially going to be attacked by some relatively young people, 19 and 15 year olds have been caught up in this, who are going to attack the actual concert. It's really quite sad and we're thankful that the authorities have been on top of this. And once again, I think we need to say thank you to our, our police services who have been brilliant in actually thwarting this attack before it could have taken place. Well, there is lots of concern because obviously Taylor Swift is performing at Wembley next mm. week. So, mm. Giles, do, you know, I think the security needs to well, be really be, ramped up. It will up. be, I'm sure, top of the range. Yeah. I mean, this is part of a world tour. She's going to a, a whole range of cities around the world. I happened to be in Dublin a few weeks ago when mm. she was over there and people loved it. Mm -hmm. They came in there tens of thousands. Five concerts due in London next week. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has said they will go ahead. Yeah. The police are on top of this, the security people are on top of this. You will, if they happen, it's because they believe it will be totally safe. The challenge is, it's not just a huge event, the concert, but also with Taylor Swift, there are extra add-ons. You can mm. go around, I mean, there are actual stadia, extra stadia, where she's <laughs> selling the merchandise, but also it's like a, a Taylor Swift experience. Mm. So people go for not just the concert, but for everything that goes around it, and it's a family event. Well, by the sounds of it, she doesn't look like she's taken any chances with anything, you know, with the, all the you know previous attacks. She doesn't look like she's taken any chances. So I think it would definitely go ahead as planned. Yeah. I hope so. I yeah. have to say, I don't know much about her, but I know she's a good egg. Yeah. I discovered when she was in Dublin that, unbeknownst to us, she had already given some money to a homeless, homeless charity, charity in in Dublin before mm. she arrived. Yeah. So I think she she is very aware of her sort of social obligations, mm. and I'm sure the police are very aware. Uh, they need to keep this safe. Her Dublin concerts were unbelievably mm. good. Fans in London have a huge treat in store. Mm. Um, let's just check out some of the fans who actually were, were going to the concert, thought they were going to the concert, but they still came along mm. and they sang in the streets. They came together and they had a grand old oh. time, Tim. This is very sweet, isn't it? It's amazing, and this is the thing. In despite of the negative potential consequences, which were thankfully fought, as we said, people still found time to enjoy themselves. I think there's lots of... Uh, areas in the world where the Taylor Swift uh, extravaganza has happened, but it's actually brought millions and sometimes billions in terms of inward investment. So there's a big concern that if she can't do concerts, what's that going to mean for the local environment? So that's why I know Sadiq is quite keen for the concerts to go ahead, but I think the first priority has to be safety and making sure that people are able to go and enjoy it, but also not in danger. In Vienna, I think, when the concerts were cancelled, local museums, art galleries, opened their doors and said, free entry today, mm. give you something else to do. You can't go to the concert, but come and enjoy some fine How art. lovely is that? I lovely. saw Taylor Swift yesterday, actually. Yeah, I, in, I in Madame Tussauds. Uh, <laughs> with the biggest crowd, all ages, men, women, boys, girls were all around and Taylor how Swift. Tall, and the thing about Madame Tussauds is you're really surprised by the height of these people. Tall, tall. Sadiq Khan's oh. also there, a lot shorter. I couldn't find Hammond. I spent 20 minutes looking <laughs> oh, for Alison Hammond. Sad. I think she's moved Thank to Thank you for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. We upload new content every day. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. And we'll see you in the morning.